Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Sorry I am late. Setting this up took a lot longer than I expected. But I hope everyone is doing well, whoever's in the chat. Hello, hello. Hello, Chaz, how are you doing? Just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to be sharing a stream around on a couple of Facebook groups, see if people want to pop along. And yeah, so just shared it around in a couple of Facebook groups. So as you guys saw today, I didn't have a video planned out. Um, didn't have time this week. Been a little bit busy. Um, so I haven't had time to sort out a video at all. But I'm going to make it up for you guys by doing a little feeding tonight. The mantis needs some feeding and uh, topping up with the water. So before I take the opportunity to talk to you guys and everything, so we'll just wait for a few peeps to join you. And uh, we'll get right into the feedings tonight. Got a lot. Got some water. Feeders, I will show them off in a bit. Just make sure I have my tongs ready. And yeah, so we'll get the stream on the go. Just a moment. Sorry, the lighting is not the greatest. I don't have, my light is playing up, so I'm definitely going to be ordering a new light soon. Need to get like a worthwhile light. What's up, Ben, dude? How you doing? It's 
So yeah, just gonna wait for a few more peeps to join in and uh, get this uh, stream undergoes. But yeah, so today I'm going to be feeding pretty much the majority of my mantis. I will be showing off the ones I do need feeding. There are a couple that are in pre so I'm just going to leave them alone today. Um, and obviously going to be spraying them all as well. If they don't eat, I will be just showing them off regardless. Got a nice variety. Got some nice species I have not shown on the channel just yet. So um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen them on there. Uh, really happy with some of the species I'm currently working with, and yeah, so just wait for a few peeps to join in and uh, get this undergoes. Yeah, I got a couple peeps joining in. Hope you guys are all doing good. Let's start the feedings off in a little bit. Uh, just let it hit the 10 mark, see if anyone else wants to come along and uh, get these mantis fed. Got quite a few to get through tonight, so how long the stream will go? Not too sure. But I do have to get up early tomorrow. Uh, so, doing a spontaneous zoo trip tomorrow, so hopefully get the stream done nice and quick and... Uh, Get them on all fed. Hey, James. Yeah, definitely. I'm showing off the Asia Dodas today. Don't worry. Uh, one of them's in pre malt so I've just left them up on the shelf. And uh, I've got the pair with me and everything. And I'll be showing them off maybe halfway through the stream and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be exciting. Chaz, maybe on a different stream, I'm mainly just going to be feeding these guys today. So maybe when I have a uh, like an open mic sort of stream, I'll uh, I'll let you hop on. But for today, it's just going to be me quickly going through the uh, feedings today. So, yeah, hopefully on the next stream, we'll hopefully be doing these more consistently now. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely get you on. Skarna, dude, how you doing? Uh, yeah, definitely going to show off the mantis, but before we get into that, I just want to show you what I'm going to be feeding today. So on today's menu, I've got a couple goodies here. I've got your classic wax worms here, letting some of them pupate and everything, but I'm going to be feeding some to the larger ones if they do want to take one down. And the main feeders for today is going to be some locusts. Now, it's not the prettiest tub right now, uh, but I have been gut loading these guys quite a lot, and uh, they've been molting and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to be feeding some locusts today. No, I'm not going to be dropping them in. I'm going to be tong feeding um, 
all of my mantis today simply because I don't like leaving feeders within the enclosure that can potentially harm my mantis. So like fly is fine, but locusts, uh, roaches and stuff I will tongue feed. And that's how, typically how I will um, feed my mantises, tongue feed them, stuff like that. Hey Moon, how you doing? Uh, tonight, yeah, Chaz, tonight is just going to be um, mantis feeding, but I may do other ones like breeding streams. Like I'll be breeding some stuff in the near future and uh, other stuff like that. So what do you guys want to see first? Do you guys want to see a large one or do you want to see a nymph? Let me go, let you, ah, uh, God, I can't talk. Let me know. Um, I'll uh, grab whatever comes first and yeah, we'll get this feeding underway. Hey, Callum, dude, you okay? Chad's going with a large mantis. What else do people think? Large, small? If I go large, what should I show off? Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Oh, I know. Yeah, looks like we're going big. Oh, start small, get big. Oh, someone else gonna someone's gonna make the tie, make the tie. Hey Lewis, you okay? Seeds, yeah, I can't wait for seeds. It's gonna be so good. Aruna Exotics in the house. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Claire? That's good, dude. Well, I'll keep you entertained, Callum, for a little bit. Uh, probably we'll do the stream for maybe an hour. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll start small and we'll get bigger. And two. Oh God, excuse me. Let me grab some fruit flies because some of these ones need smaller prey because the great thing about streaming we're never fully prepared are we okay obviously got your fruit flies right here you guys think i should do a fruit fly video kite culture my own ones uh they've been doing pretty good i make my own uh mixture so if you guys want to see a uh fruit fly video let me know but yeah, it looks like we'll start with a small one. Bum, 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 bum. First species of today, Hymenopus coronatus. Now, this specimen I got from a mystery box from TSS. And it's doing really, really good. Suspect female, uh, which is awesome. Because I currently got one mature female, which I'll be showing off later today. And yeah. Just give her a little spray. I'll get her out as well to show you guys. But there she is. She's a bit thirsty. There we go. Excuse the crying guys, siblings, being siblings. Yeah, she's a bit thirsty. But yeah, give them a little spray today. Let's catch up on some comments quick. That's good, Claire. Yes, to, uh, Scott, I am working um, at uh, Venomous Visions once again. May be able to sneak you in. We'll see. Yeah, let her clean herself off. I'm going to pop her back now just so she can have a nice little drink. In you go. There we are. Drop down to the bottom. I'll tap some flies in for her. Callum, I'm telling you, dude, this male is taking forever to mature. He's not even mature yet. Just tap in some fruit flies for him. And that's the first one fed. How many more to go? We'll see. But yeah. If you guys are an OG watcher of the channel, you'd know I'd had this enclosure for a long, long time. It's actually sent to me by a company. Um, mainly for jumping spiders, but it works great for mantis simply because of the ventilation tops. And it's great for walking mantis when they're small. Where's she gone? There she is. 
Yeah, so she's got some snacks in there now. So I'll pop her to the side. And you... Yeah, that's the great thing about getting in early, man. Always finding all the little goodies before the peeps come in. Let's see. This one next. Fedocrania Paradoxa, classic Ghost Mantis. This one was actually bred by Ben from Ben's Pets. So if you're still here, dude, this female is going strong. There we are. Beautiful light brown female. I'll probably be feeding this one a, a locust. Just uh, put the camera down like so. Problem with StreamYard is just you can't focus on anything. But yeah, it's kind of dude. If I if uh, if I could okay, if I can get you early, I'll try. But I'm even trying to get my friend Ryan to get in early. Just try to grab a small locust without them all not jumping out. Uh, problem is oh, that's a good size one. That's a good size one. Oh, nice, Callum. I want to try some horse head hoppers at some point. They're quite a strange looking invert. Let's see, will she take it? Yep. This one is a little big. Not hungry? Mm, doesn't look hungry. Let's see if she'll take an abdomen. Okay, we're going to stop that. <laughs> she is not on game today. Whoa. But there's a better look for you guys. Oh, with lighting in the back. I don't have any smaller feeders at the moment, but she did eat the other day. So uh, she's all good. Her abdomen's a good size. I'm not worried about her not eating right now. Of course, Chaz. Yeah, man. If you if we bump into each other, of course, I'll be working at the Venomous Visions table. So if you can drag me away for a sec, I can snap a picture for you. Callum, they know I'm short. You don't need to tell them. <laughs> Let's see. What next? What next? Oh, it looks like we've got this little one here. This is a young Herodula majuscular uh, male. Currently got a pair of these at the moment. Oh, Claire, if you're still here, I'm using your water bottle. I told you these come in handy. I love these kinds of bottles. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to snack. He's trying to snack on some of the springtails. So I'll give it a little bit of the locust. I get it to come up. There we go. Great thing about Hirod. Oh, that bit heavy for you, buddy. Snacking away down there. But yeah, that's a male. I've got a female, which is quite large. I think it's pre-sub right now. So hopefully I'll get the uh, the male and the female paired up maybe sometime near the end of the year. Mike, this ghost usually isn't that fussy, but 
she did eat a, uh, the same size locust uh, last few days ago, so I'm not surprised she's not eating, to be honest. I haven't used blue bottles or green bottles in general in a long time. It's just, I don't like keeping the casters. It's just a bit of a pain, but I just prefer keeping like locusts and stuff. Speaking of which, Creobota species Yunnan. This is my sub adult male for my adult female, which I'll show you guys later on in today's video. Um, but yeah, so that's the male. Pretty chunky, so I won't uh, feed him today. I, I may give him this actually leftover bit of abdomen. And I'll see if he'll take a little snack. I want a little bit. Look how spoiled. Oh, careful. There we go. Yeah, they are very annoying. Oh, wicked. I will definitely have to have a uh, catch up with James. Hey, Amy in the house. Hey, Amy, how are you doing? But yeah, there it is. Love the eye spots for most flower species. The creoboters have a gorgeous eye spot on their abdomen. Can't wait to pair these. I don't know if I should pair them live or in a video. What do you guys think? Bear with me, guys. I'm just going to have you here for one second. I'm just going to pop out really quick. And I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so that is the male Yunnan fed. I'm just going to poke him down. Oh, there we go. Let's spray him. Yes, I did. <laughs> My memory's blank at the moment. Oh, nice, Amy. Yeah, feed the teas. I'm supposed to feed the teas tomorrow, but friends want to go out on a spontaneous zoo trip. So that's going to be on Sunday instead. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, speaking of Herodula majuscula, here is my female. Right here. Beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good focusing for StreamYard. <laughs> stunning, stunning mantis. Now, if you guys are wondering what my setups are for the deli cups, it's uh, just topsoil, a bit of sphagnum moss, and a stick. That's pretty much why I keep them in. Um, but they do fine, you know, just uh, obviously I want to get them in bigger enclosures, but you'll see later on my acrylic enclosures. Um, but when they grow up, I like to keep them in these deli cups. You can manage them much easier and everything. They fit perfectly on my shelf as well. That's majuscular. Let's have a look at the comments. I've got my list for C's um, Skana. I'm not too sure exactly. I'm looking for many true spiders and scorpions this time around. But we will see. I always say I have a list, but I never really stick to it anyways. But I did pretty good at the Brighton show. I was like, I'm not going to get... I'm just going to stick with what I had budget-wise, and I did that. Usually I go way over budget, like I did for the Bristol show. Oh my God. Yes, I'm going to uh, Whipsnade tomorrow. Spontaneous Whipsnade trip, literally planned today. 
beep, 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 beep. Ooh, scary. Womp, womp, bang. And the one thing I love about Hirodula majuscular is the red on the raptorials. Can you guys see that kind of, maybe, sort of? The red on the raptorial, absolutely beautiful. You guys better look here. Focusing quite far away, but yeah, beautiful. Can't wait for her to grow up. Can't wait to pair these. One of my favorite mantis. So that's all done. Let's see. <laughs> it's great to feed at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, uh, James, this is a pre sub uh, majuscular. Amy, you need to come to C's. <laughs> C's is going to be great. All right, next up is Raptorix Occidentalis. Now, if you guys know I did have a couple oofs of these. Now, I did not do fantastic with the oofs. As you can tell, this is actually the only specimen I have left. But I do believe Raptrix are a pathogenic species like uh, Constica. So hopefully, this is, this is a female, I believe. So hopefully, she'll lay some moves. But I will be looking into picking up some moves in the future. You can see one of my favourites as well. I say most mantis are my favourite, but these are definitely taking the cake for some of my favourite species. Raptrix are an ant mimic species um, believed to mimic bullet ants or similar species. And yeah, just absolutely stunning. Just going to let it go back in its, in its, there we go, in its tub, just like so. Give it a spray because this one's just going to be eating some fruit flies. So I'm just going to, where did I put my fruit fly? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, a couple flies in there. Don't need too much because these guys don't eat a lot. They're going for a wonder. There we go, in you go. It's starting to lose a black coloration, starting again this adult coloration, which is sweet. But still stunning nonetheless. I'll let it be in there. Yeah, so that was Raptrix Occidentalis. Chaz, I do not have a... Ooh, that one is an adult. I'll save that for later. Yeah, save that for one of the last. Let's see here. Okay, so these are all larger ones than the Deli Cups. So, I'll show you the last small one I have. This is Paris Fendel Affinis, also known as the Budwing Mantis. Female. Uh, bred by my friend Ryan, if you guys don't know him, he's sometimes in the chat, he may pop in later on. Yeah, so this is a Paris Fendel Affinis. Beautiful Mantis. And I'm glad I finally have a female. I've had a few Paris Fendel Affinis, and uh, only now have I just gotten a female. I think I've had three males, so it's nice to have a female for once. Hey, Mitch, you made it, dude. Wicked, how you doing, man? There you go. So this one's abdomen is pretty thick, so I'm not going to feed it today. Just top up her water. So yeah, Paris Fendel Affinis. So those are the small ones for today's video. Uh, I said video stream. So I'm going to be showing you guys next. Quite a larger one. I'll just finish up the deli cups and then we'll move on to the acrylics. And yes, yeah, so this is Rombadera species Indonesia. Now, this one, I don't exactly know what Rombadera is. And to be honest, it's the first Rombadera I've ever had. It's also known as the uh, Sh Indonesian Shield Mantis. It's a female, which is awesome. You can tell it's female because of the abdomen segments. Uh, Pre-sub, 
as you can tell by the wings. It's got a really nice shield, as you can see there. Stunning female. I will give her a quick feed. And oh god, they're just oh god. Oh, come in. One thing I hate about locusts, they jump everywhere. That's not in frame. There we go. Yeah, she's doing good. I will be upgrading her into an acrylic enclosure once she gets to the subadult stage. And yeah, so let's give her a locust and see if she's hungry. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. I am food. Feed me, feed me. Oh! That was a nice takedown. She's like, please, guys. I like to eat in privacy. Yeah, we'll give her a spray. Yeah, Skana. I'm surprised I've never had a Rombadira until recently. Um, picked this up with another Mantis I'll be showing you guys in just a wee bit. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. God, we're half an hour in already and I'm not even... I've just gone over halfway through me Mantis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, James, I'll, I'll ping you over some photos later on after the stream. But yeah, that's Rombadira species Indonesia coming from Mantis Den. Take care, Lewis. Thanks for joining, dude. That's good, Mitch. Hope you're uh, doing well. Be good to see you more in streams, man. You've got to message me at some point. I'm thinking about doing a podcast episode next week. Uh, I wonder if you'd be interested in jumping on and doing a podcast episode with me. Same with anyone else here. If you guys want to jump on a podcast episode, do let me know. Feel free to give me a PM. Um, I'm definitely going to be recording a few podcast episodes next week. All right. So what else can we feed? So we got these two. Put these to the side. These are the next after this one. These are mature males, so that's gonna be cool. Next one, Cynomantis and Ticulata. The glass mantis, if you will. This is a recently molted sub adult, believed to be a female, just from the amount of segments on the abdomen, but I'm not hundred percent. But nevertheless, absolutely beautiful mantis. Oh, these guys are definite jumpers. Um, stunning. Oh, but yeah, this one's just recently molted, so I'm just going to give her a little spray. And uh, just, oh, god, okay, we are going for a little wander around today, I guess. Ooh, sorry, guys, I'm just quite tired today, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I will be... Um... I will be putting these through diapause, uh, James, but I just need to figure out what temps to keep them in. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep them in my low bathroom because uh, the temperatures down there are not too bad doesn't get terribly cold and i don't want to stick them outside in the winter cold um but yeah not too big a species pretty small this is uh compared to my finger and i've got teeny hands so <laughs> yeah on you go I'm not gonna feed her because she literally just molted a few days ago so i don't think she'll want to eat anytime soon but i thought we'd show you guys anyways all right so Guys, I'm going to give you a choice, A or B. Oh, we got a bot in the chat. It's going to block that. There we go. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I'll give him a message and uh, see what we go from there. But yeah, it'll be interesting to put them through diapause. But yeah, guys, what do you think? A or B? Let me know in the comments. No, Nina, I didn't miss it. I'm still. I'm not even gone to me larger mantis yet. I've just gone through all the 
Asia Dojo's come later, James. Don't worry. <laughs> they, will, they will be shown soon. B. We're going B. We're going B, guys. Also, hi, Nina. <laughs> How are you doing? Chloe Smith, hello. How are you doing? Because I'm trying not to... Oh, whoa. Ooh. We got A. We got B. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you, Nina. I appreciate that. You know what? We're going to go B. Uh, you guys, we're going to go... Ooh. I was going to go B, but we've got A. We've got a tie. Come on, guys. Tiebreaker, tiebreaker. A or B. Make your choice. <laughs> Hey, Leon, how are you doing? Oh, wicked. Wicked, bitch. Your, your streams are already really good. We're going B? All right, we're going B. We're going B. Mitch has decided the next species I'm going to be showing you. Dun, dun, dun. Ceratocrania macros. So this is a mature male, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful species. I wish I could find a female for her, but <laughs> I doubt anyone that has a female wants to sell theirs. So he's just living his days out with me. Unless anyone here knows anyone that needs a Ceratocrania macro male, be more than happy to send him off for a breeding loan. But yeah, I love what I love about them is see the little white spots. It's not mold growing on it. It's part of his body. It looks awesome. It's like little mushroom spots on a stick. It looks fantastic. Oh, Ceratocrania macra male, also known as... Uh, what is the common name for this one? Like a, something bark, barked horn mantis, I think the common name is. I don't really use common names for me, mantis. But yeah, I think this one is... Um, uh, oh, angry. <laughs> yeah, Ceratocrania, uh, the horned bark mantis. Oh, yeah, that was awesome, Mitch. When you were showing off the um, Nephila with the macro lens, that was awesome. Yeah, mine are like a green, green on my little dude, James. Yeah, they're a little bit greeny. Nina, definitely get a Ceratocrania if you can find one. They're awesome. There are a couple of people that are breeding them. Of course, we've seen Rick pairing them up and had some oofs from Mantis Atlantis. And I saw the Mantis house had them as well. Let's see if he wants a locust. Oh, oh he's hungry. He looks like he wants it, but he doesn't. There we go. That's a big meal for you, dude. But yeah, absolutely stunning. And yeah, that is the Horned Bark Mantis. Let's spray inside the deli cup. Oh, there's a malt still in there. Oh, it's got all mushy now. Never mind. Yeah, that is the macra. And then the last deli cup. Oh, you probably saw it right there. Uh, Deraplati's Truncata. This is my mature male. A stud boy because he's actually been bred with my female which is fantastic he's getting on there with being mature i think he's about three months mature now a little spray in there uh, let's get a little read on the comments 
Yeah, it's cool to see them in, Mitch. I remember, uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was Liam. He brought, so he had some available, and then I saw a few pairs. I didn't buy them, but uh, yeah. Yeah, he is absolutely stunning, and he's a uh, definitely one of my favorite mantis. Derplatis Choncacata is my favorite Derplatis, no doubt about that. I just love them, and I'll show you guys my mature female in just a wee bit as well. I just want to see if he'll take a locust. Are you hungry, dude? Oh, yeah. How was <laughs> that? Did you see how gentle that takedown was? Got some exciting stuff. Ooh, very nice, um, Claire. Do let me know what species you get in. Though I am moving away from the phasmids for now. Uh, Leon, I do not have a male. I only have my female nymph. At the moment. Oh, Pascana, I think who has them right now? Bugs UK have Nephila uh, slings at the moment. Uh, Madagascarensis, if you're interested in getting some. I just don't have the space for Nephila, so that's why I've yet to get one. But I did see they also had an Agaipi species, which is pretty cool to see. May grab one of those. And yes, yeah, so that is the Delhi Cup stuff. Let's move on to the acrylics. So I've got, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more mantis to show you guys. So are you excited? I am. Now, what do I show off first? Ooh. Let's show off this little one. Right here. So uh the rest of my mantis are kept in these acrylic tubs. Now, I did get a bunch of these uh, for a trade, actually, for a male ghost, a uh, male orchid. I got all 13 enclosures for the male, which is fantastic. Um, but, yeah, so this is my, anyways, this is my mature female. Oh, excuse me, guys, runny nose. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Creobota species Yunnan. So an absolutely beautiful Creobota species. I've yet to keep other Creobota. Oh, but you know, definitely some of my favorite. You can just see why. Look at that coloration. The goldy brown, the red, uh, the orange. Oh my God, I'm saying orange. Green wings with that beautiful eye spot that looks like a, like a frog, frog eye spot. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But yeah, she is a gorgeous girl and hopefully her boyfriend should be molting soon. And... I'll get some babies. So if you guys are in the UK, do let me know if you ever want some stuff. I do also sell other stuff as well. So if you guys are interested, feel free to PM me on Instagram. Hey, Zoe, how you doing? Chloe, you got to wait for them to be mature for them to breed. Um... So when your mantis get their wings, that's when you know they'd be ready to breed. And then uh, some months after, or, or a month after maturing and all that good stuff. Definitely a gorgeous species. She's a bit thirsty. Are you hungry? Oh, God, yeah. The one good thing about Creoboto species Yunnan, they never disappoint when it comes to eating. Gluttonous species, this one. Oh, you're from the US, Leon. That's cool. Never had a haven't had a chat with a US viewer. Let's see, what else? Oh, what else? What else? What else? So this is my bum bum. Spodromantis species blue flash. Now this one also came from the spider shop. I'm just gonna catch up on some of the chat. 
Oh, Nino, I do need to get a cat eye. I've been thinking about doing a cat eye communal. What are you guys' opinions on that? Cat eye communals. I've heard they're pretty good for, as a communal species. Um, but not too sure whether it's true or not. Oh, God. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're so rude to me she's such an angry man like look at her she's just threat posing like she's such a grumpy female <laughs> there we go. get back in your tub and give her a little bit of spray oh nice one james do let me know when you have some available dude i will be uh definitely interested in grabbing food for a communal Zoe, I'll be showing the Asia Dodas in just a wee bit. You know what? Because everyone wants to see them so bad, I'll show them after my Svojavantis. And did you guys see that? She she freaking bit me. Well, didn't bite me. She <laughs> she attacked me with her raptorials. Rude woman. If anyone knows of anyone in the UK that has a mature male Svojavantis species, Blue Flash, do let me know. I would love to... Um, Would love to uh, breed this species. This girl's going to get a special treat of a wax worm. <laughs> She's so rude. Like, I don't know why. I'm just trying to get her out so I can show you guys. I don't want to anymore. I don't want to get her out. To... I don't feel like I have my finger munched anymore. I've got the one female at the moment, Zoe. Um, she's just molted into sub-adult. Um, so she's still got a ways to go before maturing and getting ready to breed. Um, but yeah, so do you want a wax worm or do you want to just bite the tongs? Up to you. Beep. Boop. No. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she she stung me. I'm just I'm trying to scoop her up, and then bam, just grabs me with a raptorial. But you can kind of see here why they call them the blue flash because a little blue spot on the raptorial. Stunning mantis, nonetheless. And uh, if I can't breed her, she's an awesome mantis, and it's been great owning her and just having her as a pet. Now, now we get into. The good stuff. We get into the Cynomantis. Uh, my mind is not here. I, I can't lie, guys. I'm kind of shaken up by that attack. <laughs> but, yeah. So now we move on to... Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Asia Dodus unanensis. Wow! <laughs> Dream species of mine and just a fantastic species to own. I do have two males, but the other male is uh, in pre molt, so I didn't want to disturb him. He looks like he's going to molt soon, so didn't want to disturb him. Uh, but I got the other sub adult male and a pre sub female. Um, but yeah, got these two. Absolutely stunning. Just going to catch up on uh, some of the chat. Yeah, Nina, definitely make a channel. That'll be fantastic. Yeah, Zoe, that was insane. You guys are going ham with the breeding right now. I can't wait for all of my mantis to start maturing out and everything. So, oh my god, every time I look at these guys, just absolutely stunning. Just look at that. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to see if she wants to feed. I'm not too sure. They did eat a little while ago. Then they're quite reclusive. Let's see. Oh, God, don't fall on me, please. Thank you. There we go. Um, closer. Hey, Mitch, there's nothing wrong with deli cups, okay? Deli cups were great. Like, I, the most of them, um, 
my smaller mantis and I keep my mature males in jelly cups. Like, <laughs> I do want to give these guys bigger enclosures once they start getting ready to mock to maturity. So, I will probably put them in like some good tubs and stuff like that. <laughs> COVID is not great. I've had I had it um two years ago actually. But luckily I didn't get too bad of symptoms. Oh, is that Corridodis Rompadera, Zoe? Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you want a snack? Hungry, hungry. Yeah, yeah take shelter underneath her. <laughs> Doesn't look like she wants to eat. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'll just pop her back. I don't want to stress her out too much. But... Oh, that's a shame, Claire. But uh, I said Claire zoe but still nonetheless an awesome species to be breeding it's great to see a lot of these uh species that dip every now and then out of the hobby being bred by uh people such as you guys and that's what i want to be doing as well it's like the main thing i want to be doing is like i love praying mantis so much and i'd love to start working with them in the future and now, as of recent, I'm going to be having a lot more free time now. So I am looking into, of course, waiting for my current pairs to mature, but may bring some moves in and uh, stuff like that. And yeah. Oh, come on. Don't do not do this to me. Come on. You don't want to have a snack? Mm, it doesn't look like either of them want to eat. But hey. We give him a spray and we move on. But yeah, that's the Asia Dodis. Really, really awesome species. And I honestly, I still can't believe I'm working with them, to be honest with you guys. Like, I never thought I'd be owning a sex pair of them anytime soon. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that post. Good luck, Zoe. Hope it all worked out for you guys. Next pair is a sex pair of oh if i can find a male where has he gone off to um, let's sell the female where's the not where is it <laughs> no what i oh i'm just blind <laughs> ba -bum. I have a sex pair of Pseudinfusa Pinapavonis, the peacock mantis. So this is the female, this is the male. I uh, won't be feeding the male because he is quite chunky, but the female will get feed today. And yeah, so let's see if she'll take a locust. She'll definitely be getting an upgrade when she gets close to maturing. Um, I will move her out into a larger cubed enclosure. Um, but yeah, so these guys will get a spray. The male is a little ahead of the female, so I want to be feeding up the female. Hopefully she'll uh, start molting soon. Let's just catch up on the chat. Oh, that's great to hear, James. Hey, if I'm successful, I'll let you know, dude. Chloe, they can eat the male um, when breeding. That's always one risk of uh, breeding um, mantidae is that the females can eat the males and some species are more aggressive than others. So... <laughs> tips that i can give is when your female and your male are ready to always feed up the female obviously don't overfeed because that can cause gut rot and everything um 
yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much what Zoe said. Yeah, so pre- um, sometimes it's just unavoidable with some species just being much more aggressive than other species when it comes to breeding and everything. Um, some are more prone to cannibalism than others. Um, so it, it sometimes it's just unavoidable. But typically, if the female is well fed and she's ready to breed, um, the male will uh, can and will go out alive. For example, my Deroplatis truncata. Deroplates are typically a species that will eat the males, but my female was well fed and she was ready to breed, and uh, she she walked he walked away fine. Speaking of which, here she is, boop boop, Deroplates truncata female that I bought from um well uh, Mantis Den, and as you can see, she's getting pretty chunky. So I'm hoping. And praying that the male did his job properly. You can see the battle scars on her uh, wing wings. So that's where the male was grabbing her and everything. Um, but yeah, so hopefully she will produce an ooth for me. And everything. Just give a nice little spray. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Um, I might try to do this uh, a weekly thing, daily thing, like... I want to do it on Fridays. Uh, maybe next week I probably won't do it on the Friday because I am planning to do a pre seas stream. So if you guys are looking forward to that, I'll be doing some potential breeding projects. Um, some mantis, maybe some scorpions, who knows. Uh, so if you guys want to stick around for that, uh, feel free to subscribe if you guys are new here. I am seeing some new peeps in the chat. So if you guys are looking forward to a pre c stream on saturday the 29th feel free to subscribe and share the channel around that'd be greatly appreciated thank you very much <laughs> okay next pair you know what mm, yeah we'll show you the pair and then i'll show oh you know what no i'm gonna show you this girl first because she is absolutely beautiful bum, 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 bum. Boom. <laughs> the absolute classic, the most one of the most beautiful species in the hobby, Hymenopus coronatus. So this is my recently mature female. As you can see right here. Oh wow god, just mature female orchids are just one of the most beautiful species. Just take a look at that. absolutely gorgeous and i do have a pair of orchids and my male is just uh currently pre-molt so i want to leave him alone because hopefully he'll molt soon and uh and whilst he's molting and getting ready to breed i'll be fattening up this female so he doesn't get eaten <laughs> Oh, Wally! Hey, man! How you doing? I haven't talked to you in so long. It's been a while, dude. Thank you, guys. She is a beautiful one. Oh, nice, James. Fingers crossed for you, dude. Hey, let me know if you get a successful oof. Maybe we can swap some. And uh, we can see uh, if we can get some good bloodlines going. Yeah, I'm going to give her a... Ooh, I don't want to feed that one, actually. That one's... Uh, let's see, you got a nice, juicy one here. Yeah, I found that orchids have definitely gone down in price again, which is great. I remember when the TikTok craze was going around and orchid mantis were being sold for crazy prices, but... It's good to see that they're back to normal now. And yeah, whilst you guys are in the chat, what projects have you guys got going? I know, Mitch, uh, you're working on some stuff. James, you've been saying some mantis breeding projects that you've been doing. Um, yeah, what are you guys? Are you guys breeding anything at the moment? Doesn't have to be mantis. Anything from scorpion, spiders, anything. I've got a whole line of projects going up, so fingers crossed. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to let you guys watch her eat for a little bit. We can talk in the chat. 
question is why can I get it so it's slightly focused? That's pretty decent. Oh, nicely on Black Widows. I wish we didn't need DWAs to have them here. Um, but of course, it's great to see that we do have the DWA because they are quite um, the Venomous Spider. Although I don't think they're the worst. How you been holding up, Wally? I need to start. I need to. I mean, I've been lacking on the YouTube side. I need to start watching some more videos. I'm going to catch up on the stuff. Um, Wally, would you be interested in doing a uh, podcast episode with me at some point for my podcast series? Oh, wow. Scarlapendra Polymorpha. You gotta let me know how that goes, dude. We don't get a lot of opportunities to get sex specimens of any Scolopendra, to be honest. Ooh, nice, nice, Claire. I'll have to check that out. You need to ping me a link. I'll have a look at it. But yeah, she is absolutely gorgeous. And by far some of the most gorgeous mantis in the hobby. Oh, are you? Oh, I, I used to be... I, I've, all, I've never really feared many animals um, growing up. Like, I've always been fascinated by everything. But there was like... When I started getting into the invert hobby, I wasn't a massive fan of centipedes. Like, they definitely freaked me out. Um, but now I have 12. <laughs> so it's a matter of uh, getting them and owning them. And, you know, don't start off with the massive Scolopendra Dahani, Scolopendra uh, White Leg, all that good stuff. And then... Uh, Yeah, just, uh, I started off with small species, the, uh, Scolopendra, ooh, Scolopendra, ba 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 Singulata, um, started off with that, and yeah, we just moved up from there, and now I own fairly large species, I've got Scolopendra species flame leg, or no, Scolopendra Dahani flame tip, um, I've got a Taraja, some Spinipes, which if you guys haven't seen that live, do 303 to watch back. And yeah, so pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Wally. But yeah, I need to rewatch those uh, those giveaways and stuff. Fantastic. Oh, that would be great. I would love to do a, an isopod Um an isopod podcast with you that'd be fantastic we can talk isopods for however long you feel like feel free to send me a dm and we can uh organize something or wally if you feel like it if you're up for it Ooh, jumping spiders i bred jumping spiders didn't have much success raising the slings i've got a few couple left um but yeah I will give them a go with the mistakes I've made and I'll hopefully not make those once again. And uh, yeah. So yeah, that's, I think that's enough of this girl feeding. I've got five more mats to show you and we'll chat for a little bit more and I'll hop off for today. So let's show you those. So we'll pop this beautiful girl to say, let her snack on her. No, oh, don't get angry at me, girl. I'm just trying to put you away pop you down or not wait one second what is going on here oh there we go okay so that is my hymenopus fed sling that's a, a short term for spiderling leon so you know how we have nymphs for um mantis uh spider babies are typically referred to as slings so yeah um next pair 
as I'm working with. Here we are. This is Sphignomantis Mania Constrictor, also known as the Double Shield Mantis. Gorgeous species. Um, I've got a green female, which is sub-adult, who looks like she wants to eat her partner, and a uh, sub-adult right here. Now, Sphignomantis is definitely a species that is severely underrated. Um, I feel like they should be much more loved. They're absolutely gorgeous, they come in multiple colorations, and when they get older, they get this beautiful, like, grayish color. Absolutely gorgeous. Coloration, but I'm going to feed the female first. Oh, Scar, um, Scarna, dude, if you are, are looking for those, send me a DM. Uh, I will be on the eye out for them when I'm there because I always get the chance to walk around the show before helping out Tony. So if I get in early, do let me know and uh, I'll have a look out for those for you if you'd like, dude. And if, even if anything, I can buy them for you and then when you come over to see me, just give me the money. <laughs> well, let's see here. Wax worm for you, good sir or madam. Bang. There we are. Gorgeous mantis. Both of these are sub adults now, so fingers crossed they mature safely. And I will have a beautiful sex pair of Sphignomantis. Yeah, ping me a DM, dude, and uh, remind me closer to the day, and I will get that all sorted out for you, man. Anything to help you out, dude. Yeah, so that is the female fed. I'll eat waxworm. I'll probably give him a locust because his abdomen is pretty big. Anyone keep male ghosts together? Um, that could work, Chloe. It's a matter of with the ghost communals. I've heard it works. The only problem with ghost communals is that if you don't feed them enough, they will eat each other. So just be careful with that. Oh god, of course the locust jumped away, and now I've got pet locusts running around my bedroom, brilliant, I'm not looking for that locust. <laughs> awesome Leon, I'll check out your channel dude, and uh, hopefully I can jump in on the stream. This one's got stuck malt to it. See here, it's just gorgeous brown. Bang, there we go. Take care, Skana dude. Thanks for coming along. And I will see you. I don't know if you're going to tune in for these pre C stream. Um, but if I don't see you on the stream Saturday, I'll definitely see you on Sunday, dude. Next Sunday. Take care, man. I've already showed that girl. <sighs> I'm just about to wrap it up as well, guys. So, just going to show off the last mantis of today. And yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Ta da! -dun! Oh, the bananas have made the appearance. Woo! So these are Helvia cardinalis, also known as the yellow orchid mantis, similar to your hymenopus coronatus, but a completely different genus. Oh, but beautiful. These are both um. Oh god. Uh, it, these are both mature females. Absolutely gorgeous mantis. Give them a little spray. Oh, 
Oh, one of them's already going for a drink. I am in desperate need for a male, mature male. So if anyone knows anyone that has a mature male, please let me know. If you're in the UK, I would love to breed these. Uh, just a dream of mine to have baby or a hell of running around. Little Miss Ranch. I want to be a breeder of these. <laughs> Again, if anyone knows if I could wear anyone that has a male available, do let me know. My females are calling like crazy. They are ready to breed. Yeah, it's just about 10 p.m. here, I believe. Yeah, 9.47. Yes, Mitch, Helvia Cardinalis. You know what? Before I feed this girl, I'm going to get her out for you guys. So these ones aren't too bad. They're not angry girls. They are good girls. I like to call them banana mantis. Because, <laughs> come on, don't tell me I don't look like no banana. And these two females are very yellow. Like, I've seen a lot of Helvias that look kind of, like, washed out. Well, my Helvias are a very nice yellow colour. Absolutely stunning. Mitch, dude, if you have a male or know anyone with a male, <laughs> let me know. I would love to breed these. You can just see, like, kind of on the tip of her abdomen. She's releasing pheromones. Like, she's calling for a male. Oh, yes. Mitch, please, <laughs> if you have a male. Um, these two are a month and a bit mature now. So they matured in early December. So just um, a month and uh, what, a few days now. They're more than ready to breed. But yeah, let's get this one fed. Lunch time, snack time, bang. Ooh, that was a nice takedown. And yeah, so I'll get you guys a little zoom in here. Because I'm going to be ending the stream now, guys. Thank you so, so much for everyone. Oh, no. Hey, um, if they are close to maturing, um, Mitch, I don't mind raising them up. Because these girls are going to be good for a while, so. They're, I'm, I can be patient. <laughs> if you have a pre-sub male, I don't mind waiting a few months for it to be mature and ready to breed. But yeah, so but I would I do appreciate you asking around for me, dude. Thank you so much. But yeah, guys, so that is the end of today's stream. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you guys who have come in and tuned in to today, old and new. It's been great seeing you all. Um, I will be doing a stream next Saturday with my friend Ryan. He's going to be coming around for seas, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing some breeding projects and everything. I'll be showing off some of the collection as well. So if you guys are looking forward to that, if you're new, do subscribe to the channel. And also feel free to check me out on social media, uh, Instagram, uh, Jeremy's Wild World underscore, Jeremy's Wild World dot sales. And I'm also on TikTok now. So yeah, TikTok. I never thought that I'd ever create a TikTok account, but yeah, I'm on TikTok. Jerry's Wild World. <laughs> so yeah, guys, been a fantastic stream. Been great talking to you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.